Hi everyone, I'm Mayor Shelley Petrolia, and I'm here to let you know that we've got some great things in store for you. Some of these initiatives that we have going on are huge and are going to have a positive effect on not only the residents that are here now, but also into the future. This is going to be something that for decades, uh, people are gonna be looking back and realize that we did great things in Delray Beach. I'm really excited about what we're doing across town, but I want you to hear it first from our city leaders. Hello, I'm Derry Beach City Manager Terrence Moore. We are extremely excited and pleased to offer the many wonderful opportunities to improve the lives of both residents and stakeholders of our community. Anthea Geniotis, Development Services Director. So the game changer for this year is ePlans. We are going to be able to accept building permits, payment, application, do plan review, all online. It's going to make the review process faster. It's going to save our customers trips back and forth to City Hall. And uh, I think that is going to be the big change that we'll see in the next year. I'm Sam Mita, the Director of Parks and Recreation in the City of Delray Beach. I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about some great new things that we have coming for the department in our near future. First, the Pompeii Park Community Center continues on pace and looks to be a really exciting new crown jewel of our department. Uh, we're looking at really exciting potential with public-private partnerships at the golf course. We have an historic Delray Beach golf course. We can't be more excited about the future and what we can do there. And then last but not least, on the March election, we are looking at a general obligation bond. If approved, the general obligation bond really puts the park in a great position moving forward for the next 30 years with all new facilities and upgrades that really take our park system into the future. I'm Jay Stacy, the Director of the Information Technology Department. As part of the city's e-government initiative, we've developed a smartphone app that's going to make it much easier for the public to submit service requests and obtain information about city resources and events. The app is called My Delray Beach and you'll find it in the app stores this December. This is part of a series of rollouts that we've begun to bring technology out to the public to make it much easier to communicate and do business with the city. Hassan Hajimiri, Utilities Director. The city is moving forward with the design and the construction of the state-of-the-art new water treatment plant. Uh, this is a perfect timing. It gives us an opportunity to incorporate all the required design parameter into this construction of the water plant, which will meet all proposed water quality regulations. This water plant will serve our customer for many, many more years to come and provide them with the best water quality possible. I'm Missy Barletto, Director of Public Works for the City of Delray Beach. We're currently working on revitalizing neighborhoods all over the city of Delray Beach. We're finishing the Osceola Park neighborhood where we're providing new paving, sidewalks, decorative lighting, improvements to the water and sewer network. Each of these neighborhoods has its own unique personality and we work with the individuals in the neighborhood to provide a sense of where you are in the city based on the personality and the wishes of the people who live there. So these improvements are designed to create a quality of life and a sense of place for the residents who live there. As we design the improvements for these neighborhoods, we look at a number of different things, doing as little impact on the existing environment while providing as much infrastructure and safety for the community as we can. My name is Russ Major. I'm the Chief of Police for the Delray Beach Police Department. One of our initiatives uh, for the police department in the city of Delray is to increase our staffing. We've been very aggressive in the recruiting process. Increasing our staffing levels will allow us to have a more robust police department. It will allow us to engage more in community involvement, whether it be in the schools or whether it be with elderly, wherever the need is, juvenile, it will allow us to do more than what we've normally been able to do with just our current staffing levels. My name is Jim Bradford. I'm the division chief here with the fire department here in Delray Beach. What we're excited to talk about is the replacement of Fire Station 113. This is the city's oldest fire station and it served the community for over 50 years and it's finally ready to be replaced. What we're excited about is this new station is a part of the city's master plan to replace all of its fire departments and we're looking at this as a flagship station to be able to set the pace and the model for what new fire stations will look like throughout the city. 
will have the city's first Cat 5 rated building for hurricanes that provide the safest place for our firefighters to serve the communities throughout a storm. And it also provides an, an inviting environment for the community to come and share uh, time in the fire stations with our firefighters. So I'm really looking forward to these city initiatives and I hope you are too. We're going to be doing some town hall meetings that are going to go into more detail with respect to all the things that we are doing in the coming year. So look forward to those announcements and hopefully we'll see you there.